guys! And welcome to another episode of Fun and Learning with me, Teacher Danny. Now, for today, we are observing light as it passes through several media, such as the paper, transparent plastic, mirror, and a solid object. And also, we have here our source of light, which is the flashlight. Now, what do you think will be the behavior of light as it beam on these things? Now, come and join me as we explore the behavior of light. Oh, there you are. I have been reading a lot of information regarding the behavior of light. And according to this source, when light strikes a matter, some or all of the energy in the light can be transferred to the matter. And just as light can affect matter, matter can also affect light. Now, when light strikes a medium, the light can be reflected, absorbed, or transmitted and it can also be refracted or scattered now, okay so back to our experiment now let us try to see what will happen to the light when we beam on a mirror now let's work in our mini laboratory did you see that the light is being reflected and oh i remember if the light or radiation is turned back by the surface without entering the object the light is said to be reflected now most of the things around us are reflectors of light like the smooth surfaces like the surface of a steel body of water polished mirrors and some metals are good reflectors. Woo! <laughs> now this is also the reason why we see ourselves in these materials. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe, wipe, wipe. What? Have you noticed that the flashlights, the headlights of the cars, and some light sources in our house have reflectors? This is to prevent the spreading out of the light and to direct the light only to one direction and increase its intensity. Now, if you use the reflectors with many lights, the location might be like this and we are not ready for partying. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> A few inches later. Now, let us try to beam the light on a solid material. And let's see. Wow, as you can see, the light is absorbed by the material and it casted a shadow. This material and the other things which absorb light are what we call opaque materials. Now, can you name other opaque materials around you? Oh, I remember one. Have you tried playing with your hands on a candle when there is an electricity shutdown? Shadows are created from blocking of light and are fun to play with, right? I have tried making several uh, shadow pictures. Try making this too. Have you tried making a jaguar? How about creating a rabbit? Have you tried creating a horse? 
How about an elephant? Try forming your hands like this and let's create a flying bird. Try forming a cute little cat like this. Now put your hands together to make a reindeer. Is it your first time to see this one? How about forming a pea fowl? And have you tried forming a bird on a nest? Try also making a sheep out of your hands. Then make a crab with 8 feet and a tiny little snail. Now speaking of absorption, did you know that a good absorber of light reflects less energy and thus it appears perfectly black? But it also becomes hotter by absorbing radiation more effectively than with light colors so if you want a hotter or a warm feeling you use black paints or black clothes but wearing black is also unadvisable during summer so instead you have to wear light colored clothes <laughs> Let's try to beam the light on transparent material such as the plastic and let's also beam the light on translucent material such as the paper. Now on the plastic, the light passes completely. Well, as to the paper, it did not allow light to pass through. Some particles of light are absorbed and some are not. Now these materials are what we call translucent because they make the light scatter or diffuse, making it difficult to distinguish objects that are behind these materials. Now lampshades, curtains, fluorescent tubes, or other translucent materials around us. Now did you know that the Earth's atmosphere contains molecules and particles that makes light scatter? Light is being redirected as it passes on our atmosphere. That's why during the day, the sun's rays travel through less air, so the sky appears blue even though the air itself is colorless. And during sunset, the sky appears red because more light is being scattered. And here's a fun fact. Did you also know that white light is the unison of all colors? And when you beam this light to a prism, it will be refracted into the colors of the rainbow, such as the red, the orange, the yellow, the blue, the indigo, and the violet. So again, if we mix all the colors, we will have the white light. It's now for this activity, tell if the object can reflect, absorb, 
or transmit light. You are given 10 seconds to answer each item. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. Does a clear bottle reflect, absorb, or transmit light? Go! Two. How about a polished metal? For three, how about a tree? Four, how about the shelf? Five, a glass. Six, your body. Seven, a mirror. Eight, the lens of the eyeglasses. Nine, how about the lens of a shade? And then, a rim of paper. And now, here is a guide in order for you to check your answers. That's it for today guys and I hope you have gained a lot of learning from our simple video and uh, never forget that you have a light inside you so let it shine. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and share all the wonderful things that you have learned in this activity. Bye for now!